Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, and price. And today I'd like to show you how to deposit funds and withdraw in Ribbon Finance. All right, so I wanted to start here at the homepage of app.ribbon.finance. This is where you can uh, view all the Theta Vaults and interact with them. The first thing you want to do here is connect your wallet. So go up to the top right here, hit connect wallet, find whichever network you'd like to connect to. I'm gonna to connect to the Ethereum network because we're gonna be using ETH and Steph today. Jump into Ethereum, jump into MetaMask, connect here. Obviously you can connect these other wallets if you choose. I do have a Trezor, guys. If you want some peace of mind when it comes to using a MetaMask wallet and these sorts of things as far as making sure nobody else withdraws your finances, um, I highly recommend getting a Trezor. If you go down into the description below, you can uh, find a link there. Um, I'm going to log in here. All right, that, now that we have our MetaMask logged in, you should see your uh, Ethereum address up here or whatever address you're using for your network. Today, I'm going to go through a couple different things. Like I said in the intro, I want to deposit into the T-ETH C vault, which is going to take uh, Ethereum. I want to show you how to withdraw from that as well and how withdrawals work on uh, Ruin Finance. And I also want to show you an R Steth Earn, the Earn vaults, the newest Earn vault that that's just got out and how to deposit and withdraw from that as well. The deposits and withdrawals will look very similar. So once you've gotten into the ETH vault here or the Steph vault, uh, Earn vault, you'll know kind of the basics. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna click on the, uh, the ETH vault here. I'm going to go into deposit. I'm going to, we have our available uh, in this wallet is 5.3 ETH. Let's uh, just, let's do one full ETH here. I'm gonna preview my deposit. I'm going to hit deposit now. That's 17% uh, APY on this vault. Your MetaMask will pop up or whatever uh, you're using for your crypto wallet here. I'm going to hit confirm. All right, here we go. We've uh, confirmed the transaction in my MetaMask wallet. We're going to wait until uh, Etherscan sees it here. And uh, you can actually view the transaction on Etherscan. I highly recommend you do that. All right, we have our uh, deposited funds, which is one ETH into the T ETH C vault. Um, you can go check that right here. Your positions in this vault are always going to show up in the bottom left corner. The cool thing about uh, Ribbon Finance, guys, is there's two ways to withdraw. The first way is an instant withdrawal. And the only time that you can do instant withdrawals is if you've uh, deposited into the vault, but you haven't got into um, minting any contracts yet, which, again, that's 8 a.m. UTC time is when they start minting contracts. So as long as you have your, uh, your deposits in, and if you want to draw, withdraw before that, maybe you made a mistake, maybe you want to try a different vault, um, you'll want to pull those funds out before 8 a.m. UTC so that you have an, the opportunity to do an instant withdrawal. But every other uh, withdrawal in Ribbon Finance is going to be a standard withdrawal, which means you'll need to first tell uh, ribbon that you want to withdraw from the contract after it's expired. So you'll do that. You get in your funds into a minted contract at 8 a.m. UTC. You're going to want to start the withdrawal pop process uh, during the week and then finalize it after uh, the contract is minted. So um, I'm going to do an instant withdraw here, guys, just to show you how that works. So we'll go to withdraws. We'll go to with one because or just hit max because that's what we've got done here. Um, and then we can hit withdraw ETH. And we can hit withdraw now. Confirm this in your MetaMask. I'm so grateful that the uh, the the uh, gas prices are super low right now. 252 is by far the lowest gas prices I've ever paid on the Ethereum network. The uh, withdrawal was successful because it was an instant withdrawal. I did, um, didn't have my ETH in a contract, so it didn't need to go into the standard process of, of telling uh, Ribbon Finance that you want to withdraw. So what I'm going to do next is I've, I actually have some Steth in the other, uh, the Steth vault, and I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to withdraw um, there, and I'm going to start the process of withdrawing. You won't be able to fully withdraw because it is after... Um, 8 a.m. UTC and I do have some ETH in a minted contract. So let's go to the Steph vault and I'm going to go to with the withdraw tab. Actually, I've got staked 
<laughs> I've got to go to the staking tab. This is interesting. So when you get uh, tokens um, into a contract, the first time you get into a minted contract, you'll get some, some vault uh, liquidity tokens that you can actually stake. So if you go over to the staking tab, go to vault tokens, and I need to unstake this in order to be able to, to withdraw. So I'm going to withdraw the max, preview the unstake, unstake now. This contract is a little bit more expensive because it's a little bit more involved. Go ahead and unstake this. Again, ETH, uh, your ETH in either the any one of the Theta Vaults guys, if it's uh, in the staking, if you have the liquidity tokens uh, being staked, you can't actually withdraw your, uh, even start the process of withdrawing because you've got the liquidity token tied up in the staking contract. But the staking contract, especially in the USDC, ETH and uh, Steph Vaults are super lucrative guys. So I do highly recommend that you use them and the R ETH as well. So now that we've unstaked the uh, the liquidity token here in the staking tab, we're going to go back to the products tab, go back into the Steph Vault, and now we are able to withdraw. I have 1.9 Steph in here. Let's uh, just do one, make it super simple, right? Initiate withdraw, and this is a step one. So it gives you the update here. So you can complete your withdraw anytime after 12 p.m. UTC on Friday when your steth will be removed from the vault invested in the pool funds. So this is how you start the process and on the end of the process, you'll have to do the rest. So um, initiate withdraw, so let's hit initiate. And at a later time, I'll have to uh, show you how to finalize a withdrawal. I have to wait a week for this to be possible as it's Friday currently in my time zone and uh, Friday afternoon, so it's gonna be past the instant withdrawal time period because my uh, steth is currently locked in the contract. All right, withdraw initiated and it's uh, going to be started, so that's awesome. Now I'm gonna go into a different vault. I wanna show you how this works in one of the earn vaults I've shown you in the uh, covered call, steth and eth vaults. Let's go into the R steth earn and this is where we can uh, deposit um, and have a different strategy. So the covered call strategies I mentioned before, go ahead and check out the video that I've created about Earn to know how the Earn vaults work. I'm gonna deposit here. And the cool thing about depositing in any of uh, the, the vaults in, um, especially the ETH vaults, Steph vaults, uh, the R ETH vaults, um, you're going to have the option to either deposit ETH or Lido staked ETH. And if you're in the uh, like in the R ETH vault, you have ribbon staked ETH, right? So you have the option to do either. I don't have any Steph in my wallet balance right here. So I want to go to ETH and make sure that I'm depositing ETH. So what ribbon actually does with your ETH when you're depositing ETH into a Lido staked ETH uh, vault, it uses Curve to transact with uh, the contract to get Lido staked ETH and then we'll deposit that Lido staked ETH. Now you can't withdraw ETH in particular, you have to withdraw staked ETH, so it does convert it uh, in the process, so you can't, um, you can't withdraw ETH and put it in there and uh, get Lido staked ETH and get uh, ETH back out and get that discount, because right now there's a little bit of variance between uh, the staked ETH and the ETH price, right? You can't game the system that way, you have to, you have to withdraw staked ETH when you do this. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one in, and if you saw there, there was a little bit of extra. So because it's going into uh, the, the contract over at Curve, you're gonna get a little bit better uh, conversion rate from ETH into Steph. It's, as you can see, it's 1.006 right now. Um, I've seen uh, variance up to upwards of um, you know 3% uh, discount. Confirm this transaction on my Trezor. Make sure to get a treasure, guys, or some something like it to make sure that you are the only one that can withdraw and deposit with your MetaMask. All right, that has been deposited successfully. So I'm gonna go straight into withdraw just because I wanna show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna do an instant withdraw because I do have the uh, 1.0821 <laughs> available to withdraw. I'm gonna hit max this time to get the same amount out as I put in, but it will be in uh, Lido staked ETH this time and not in ETH as I as I did uh, deposit ETH and uh, it converts to, to, to Lido staked ETH or ST ETH. All right, and we've confirmed the withdraw. 
takes a couple seconds to uh, to watch the process happen here. Again, you can check an Ether scan if you would like to verify the uh, the transaction within the Ethereum network. All right, with, uh, withdrawal was successful, so that's good. That's an instant withdrawal. Again, uh, you could do a standard withdrawal because I do have uh, funds in this contract that have already been minted. I'd have to wait um, until after 12, after about 11 a.m. So 11 a.m., 12, uh, 12 p.m. UTC, you're able to uh, to fully withdraw the standard withdrawal there. That's on Fridays, guys, to do the, the, the standard withdrawal. And again, I'll try to do that on the back end of this video um, in a week from now to show you how that works. All right, so it's been about a week since I pulled the trigger on that withdrawal. Excuse my voice, I had a little bit of cold over the last week, so please bear with me. Um, when I come back to uh, app.ribbon.finance, there's a nice little reminder here that says uh, complete your withdrawal. And so you can actually click on that and go straight to the page where you're going to be able to complete your withdrawal. And I had uh, started the standard process um, a little bit earlier in this video, and now I'm going to be taking it out because it's been past uh, 12 p.m. UTC. Um, and now we're going to be able to take this out of the contract. The contract did end out of the money, so we did end up making a little bit, which was nice. I'm going to hit the complete the withdrawal. All right, so the withdrawal was successful. Um, I have my Steth um, available now in my wallet again. I'm gonna show you my MetaMask wallet just to show you that it's in there. So we do have the Steth, the uh, uh, 0.9998 Steth. It actually is a little bit higher than when I started the withdrawal because of the contract ending out of the money. So we made that little bit of a gain there. And then I'm gonna put this right back into the Earn Vault, guys. So that's how you finish up the back end of a standard withdrawal. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been an overview of the staking vaults, the Earn and uh, Covered Call vaults inside of Ribbon Finance. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and see you next time. God bless.